friends it's Anna welcome back to my channel I have just in the mail today just now received my hero arts monthly card kit and I am just so excited to show you guys everything that's in the kit and what I'm most excited for so let's just jump right in uh, I'm gonna start with the smaller items we have received a ink cube oh, I am knocking everything over it's a white pigment ink. I believe it's their shadow ink, their unicorn, which is, uh, I have it in the big size, so this is actually really nice. So I have swatched this a couple, maybe 30 minutes ago, this, this one here at the top, and you can see how opaque it is. And on black, it does dry down quite a bit, but it is pigment ink, so you do have to be careful that it dries down completely. Uh, make sure you heat set it with your heat gun, but it is a vibrant white and it when you use a stamp It looks beautiful We get a silver embossing powder. It is not quite as big as a Well, I can't compare this is a where's my hero arts Let me grab another embossing powder for you guys to compare this is my gold embossing powder by hero art so you get I think it's about half. I don't think it's exactly, but it's a very good amount. This will last you for quite a long time, and I'm probably just going to dump this in with my silver embossing powder container that I have on my desk. And it's just the classic silver. Then we get this very interesting tube, and I believe this is Glossy Accents. On their site, though, it says it is a gloss lacquer, I believe. It smells and feels and looks exactly like Glossy Accents. And it has a, a, a thin tip, as you guys can see. It's a thin nozzle. Let me try to see how fine I can get the lines. Yeah, you can get them pretty fine. And it is that, that milky color, and it'll probably turn clear. Which is really funny because my glossy accents, I have this large bottle, and this is the first bottle I ever got. I was trying to unclog it because it had clogged up and it this thing always clogs up in this large bottle and I was squeezing and squeezing and then the pop just popped off and I ended up having to throw the top away so right now it has no no top and I have most of it decanted into this my fine line applicator and then this clogged up and actually the top broke off this is totally not important to the unboxing but um, this part's not supposed to be here. It's supposed to come off at the tip in here and it uncapped and everything. So now this is not really the best either though because you have to squeeze so hard. So finally I have settled on this and this is the same glossy accents but the tip is super super fine. So I'm excited to try them all out and see which one works best and then I'll let you guys know but this is really great like if you were going somewhere and you didn't want to carry around like your main glossy accents let's say I had just this big tube this is great this fits anywhere it's thin it's sleek this is definitely good for carrying around in my opinion so let me put this all back and that was the small little embellishments that we got in this kit. The embossing powder in silver and the unicorn white pigment ink as well as the lacquer. Now, the specialty papers we get in this set is silver. I mean, this is glitter, glitter paper. And I, I think it's glitter, like loose glitter that's on paper it's not like the Tim Holtz paper where it's almost like a vinyl sheet it because when you rub this the glitter will come off on your hands a little bit now you might want to try sealing it some way or even burnishing it down further and see if that helps I'm definitely gonna try a few things and see what works best and I'll let you guys know but look at the shine you could use like thin thin slivers of this to accent your cards and it can get you so far especially this holiday season then we have this geometric pattern. This geometric pattern is beautiful, in my opinion. It's like this foiled silver. They, everything in this um, 
in this set is silver or pearl, like very cool toned. It's lovely. And I love the geometric tones because even if you don't use this for Christmas and you can cut cut them down, you can use them for birthdays, you can use them for weddings, you can use them for birthday invitations, you can use them for so much. This this is uh, very versatile, I think. And I love the difference. If you notice that they're like it's solid in the middle and then it's like every other one is solid. It's like it keeps changing. It's a, it's a very nice background, actually, the more you look at it. Now, this is my favorite. Sorry if I'm talking so fast. I'm really excited. This is my favorite of the pattern papers. It has, like, this per it's this pearlized paper that's been maybe embossed or just text uh, texturized. This texture is so cool. I don't know if you guys can tell how smooth and bumpy it is at the same time. Like, it feels really smooth. It, it's a very weird, weird feeling. <laughs> Um, and it's the same front and back. One is debossed and one is embossed. And that just means the pushed paper has been pushed this way. So the raised bit is this side and the pressed indented part is on the other side. They both feel very smooth though. This would be great for cobblestones. I could see it with some distressing with like a pumice stone and it could look so cool for like rooftops and streets if you wanted to use that for that reason. That'd be really cool or even like snow banks. And I think that's where they were going with that. Now next I have the dies. Now you get such a great assortment. You get the city or townscape rather with little lights and little buildings. Then you get the forest which is a bunch of trees and mountains. Now you could use that for any car for any occasion. And that is versatile and so great to add to your stash. Now, you see some of the smaller dies do coordinate with the stamp set. And you might think like, oh, you know, for the amount of stamps that we are we are receiving, we're not getting that many dies. But to, to be honest, the stamps are so small that you can cut them so easily. And honestly, it would have just been a waste to have made dies for them, in my opinion. Just because they're so itty bitty. But I, I love this. I love that you can create so many different backgrounds. And some of the images they do have die cuts for. This is the Santa, the Santa silhouette. This one is the dog sled, the Christmas tree, the train station, the little house. I believe that this is supposed to be Santa waving, maybe? Yeah, Santa waving, the clock tower, Mrs. Claus waving, and... I don't know which one this one's specifically for. I am pretty sure that I will figure it out as soon as I bust into it. But this is amazing. Now, moving on to the stamp set itself. As you guys can see, so many images. It's really insane, actually. My favorite has to be the little huskies. Oh, I mean, how cute are they? And like the detail. And you know what's really great is that these you can color really easily because they are so small. Or if you have some inks, it, it, you can make quick work of this. And you could use these for so many things. Like if someone was going on vacation to like Alaska or to the Appalachian Trail or, you know, Canada or Antarctica or Iceland or something, you could definitely make a card for them. That would be great. Or if um, you went to a national park, you know, these images could be great for that. Uh, I just, carolers, a little snowman. These would be great for scene building. And as you guys know, I'm not really great with scene building. I have not really, mm, I feel very challenged in that area of card making. So this would be really great. And I love that you get two different options for Christmas trees. You get a larger one. And a slightly smaller one that's a little bit more whimsical. And the elves are really fun. You can create Santa's workshop. So you have like a more realistic view of what, you know, Christmas and that season or outdoor season can be like winter. And even like early spring, late fall could be like in some parts of the world. Or you have like whimsical like snowmen and toys and elves and Mr. and Mrs. Claus and trains but you could use these and mix and match these with sets you already have to really build up your stash and bulk up your stash because these little little images can add so much these little fish for underwater 
underwater scenes, the little igloo. You could add these for so many things, even like this bumpy line. You could use that for so much. This could really bulk up your stash and really help, like this little tool set. That is so little, so detailed, but it would be great. You could make a whole background for a masculine card even. Masculine card even. Ugh, I can't speak, I'm so excited. So that's everything that I have received in the kit. That's the specialty papers, the stamp set, the die set, as well as the embossing powder, the lacquer, and the ink cube. So thanks for watching this with me and going through all these fun things together with me. And um, I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.